Okay, this is um, the results of our cereal dilution uh, from the lovely B Block. So, with um, much thanks to Bethany, Hamza, Justin, Millie, and um, can't read those initials. I'll put my glasses on. Still can't read them. A M. Oh yeah, a read. So here we go. So these show a pretty perfect sort of sequence of results. So the reason that we do cereal dilution is to spread the bacteria out so that we can count them. So on this first plate, this one in ten, you can see that's really quite a sort of uniform shade of dark yellowy cream. Um, and that shows that there's full coverage of the bacteria across those plates. So well done to Hamza and no contamination, super duper. Uh, we move on to the next plate, our next three plates. Here we've got a one in a hundred, one in a thousand, and one in ten thousand. And you can see that the bacteria are now, there are slight gaps appearing between them, and they're certainly starting to look, by the time we get to one in ten thousand, like we can see some colonies. So our one in a hundred, hardly any gaps, still quite a lot of overlap, so we couldn't count this because of the overlapping colonies. Uh, similarly here, our colonies are very close together, some of them are overlapping, we're not going to be able to count those either. When we get down to the last two plates then, I think this is really obvious, we've got loads more colonies on this plate and far fewer on Arib's plate at one in a hundred thousand. Uh, we've also got some lovely, lovely little bit of contamination, airborne contamination on this plate. A uh, lovely sort of a milky coloured, slimy colony growing on the surface. Um, and again, some of these colonies look very big and it's probably because they're overlapping with the next one. So this is the one that we would count and probably uh, there are still a lot of them. Uh, so it's going to give us a nice uh, representative sample. The colonies are spread evenly throughout the plate. You probably, if you're going to count them, need a fine Sharpie pen and a little tally counter clicker to do it with. Um, you may even choose to count a quarter of the plate and multiply up because there are so many colonies. If we'd gone to another dilution and done one in a million, um, those would have been even more spread out, but we may not have then had a representative sample. So, things to be aware of with the, uh, the technique. You can't count colonies that are merging or overlapping because there are too many. Uh, because you don't know whether to count it as one colony, two or three. When we get down to the lower dilutions, you might not have representative samples. And even here, with this beautiful plate that we could count, there are going to be some issues. So we're assuming in this technique that every one of these little cream dots has arisen from one bacteria. But if two bacteria have landed on the plate at the same time in the same area, randomly, obviously they could just give rise to one colony and then you'd end up with an underestimate few numbers. So what to do with once you've counted them, then you need to multiply by the dilution. So this has been diluted one in a hundred thousand. So however many you counted, you'd need to then multiply by a hundred thousand to get right back to the start with what you had had in your original culture. Um, and obviously you need to know the volume. So if we put a tenth of a centimetre cubed in here, we would have to multiply by 10 to get it to a centimetre cubed. We actually put one in. So um, we could just multiply up. 